we added a trigger manually step and then we added a basic LLM chain which connects with Google Gemini and we are sending the details to the Google Sheets. Hello and welcome to day 5 of the NA10 series. So far, we have seen the manual trigger, we have seen on-form submission and we have also seen on-app event. Today, we are going to start with connecting with an AI model. Let's begin with Gemini because that's free to use so that anybody can start using it without having to pay anything. And soon we will get into perplexity and also open AI. So let's see how do we connect Gemini API into NA10 and do some automation with the help of AI. I'm already into my NA10 account, which we created for ABCD uh, Pirate 7. And uh, let me click on create workflow which opens blank canvas and uh, i'll be adding my first step so we will go with uh, manual trigger because that's not what we are learning today we are learning how to connect with an ai model okay so i'll go over here we are going to search for gemini and we're going to use the google gemini chat model right so once you do that it'll ask you to add the credentials um, so i'll quickly show you how do we create a credential and how do we add it here so let's click on create new credential and as you can see the host is already automatically added what we need here is the api key and the way we generate that is to go to Google AI Studio and click on this one. Of course, you need to be logged in. You can create an account if you don't have one and then click on get API key from here. So once the screen opens up, click on create API key and a small pop-up opens. Uh, you could search for the project that you want. So I'll use this Gemini API okay and uh, create api again existing project right or you could also have a button below which says create api key uh, you could use that so i'll click on this one it generates a api key and it shows over here i'll click on copy okay this is the api key i just need to copy that come back here and paste the api key once you do that just click on save and you are all done so you can see that connection tested successfully which means you have connected your gemini account or gemini api key successfully onto any time once that is done let's come back and you can see that uh, we have this when chat message received so um we could remove this one because we are doing it with the uh, manual we have not introduced the chat feature yet so let's not go there yet I will take this one and bring it down. I'll connect this one over here. So if you open this one, okay, it's just the model change that we can do here, right? Uh, we could use uh, any of the models that is available. I'll leave it to default for now. I'll come back. And this is the basic LLM chain where we have to give the prompt, right? So source for prompt, it says connected chat to the node which means that we have a, uh, a chat option in the NA10 and whatever input is given in that will become the trigger. But in this case, we are going to define below, right? The reason is we just have to understand how prompt needs to be added into the uh, LLM and that's what we are going to do here. And in today's use case, we are going to ask Gemini to fetch two new trending tools and give us the details okay so let me just expand this so that we can read the prompt the prompt is you are an expert ai research assistant your task is to search and identify two newly launched trending ai websites or tools that have gained significant attention on the internet in the last 48 hours instruction research recent news newsletters social media content and trending ai news YouTube channels and technology resources to find the most talked about or newly launched AI websites or tools from the past 48 hours. So we have uh, some instruction here on how it needs to be formatted. I'll tell you why as we move on. So I'll click on execute step and there you go. 
here's the output as we can see the first one is luma ai dream machine let's uh, go through the details uh, the second one is over here right where it says stability ai developer platform and stable diffusion 3 medium api okay so once this is done we can send this to let's say google sheets right so i'll just go over here action in an app could be google sheets and we don't want to create a new spreadsheet right we could append a row in a sheet which means a new row will be added in existing sheet uh, and uh, these details will be added so it is asking us for the credentials i'll create new credential and i'll use uh, sign in with google and i'll uh, select the account so it's asking me for the password let me try it out and yeah there you go and i have to give access to it so i'll click on continue so connection successful and you can see here account connected so once that is done i can just close this so google sheets account is available here so resource sheet within document uh, we also have a document um operations is append row okay that's what we want to do as you can see here create a new row in a sheet right and that's what we want to do our document we have to select it from here so what i'll do is so i'm going to create a new sheet and i'm going to call this as top trending ai tools and uh, we can just have the date here and uh, the tool details All right so i'll just increase this and date okay so this is what we have so i'll just copy the link from here and go back here uh, it would be from list i'll just change that to buy url and put the url here once we do that we also have to give the sheet name and we could use from list just click on this choose and it will show you all the sheets available in the google sheets and we just have one here and uh, map each column manually right you also have uh, map automatically uh, this sometimes might not work so smoothly uh, so it's better to use uh, map each column manually we have date and tools tool details here right uh, so the tool details is basically this text that we've got so put it here right and uh, the date is basically um, this one now right so variables and context so we could just drop in this one okay so once you do this click on execute step and the details would have been sent to the google sheets so let's quickly check that and you can see the date has come here and the details has come here so i'll just quickly change the format of this to, 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 to do date okay it doesn't seem to be working fine so we will quickly check how do we format that uh, when we go to formatting text okay so we have the date here and we have the tools details here okay um but all the details like the name the release date url description main features monthly price why trending reference video all of this is there right in one cell for both the tools and that's not what we want we will need these details to come into different columns and that's precisely what we are going to cover in tomorrow's video so for today what we have done is we added a trigger manually step and then we added a basic llm chain which connects with google gemini and we are sending the details to the google sheets right and in tomorrow's video we are going to add a formatting option so that the details that has gone into the google sheets will be formatted in a human readable format doesn't mean that this is not human readable but it's not a friendly way of reading the details so i hope you are able to follow us along and being able to create whatever we have created so far as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one